Hi there, my name is Jack and I'm the head pilot here at Propel and today I'm going to show you how to sync your drone to your controller and also how to calibrate the internal six axis gyro. Now all of our drones bind in exactly the same way so this will apply to you whether you have the atoms down here or whether you have some of the bigger drones that you see above me over here. So first you need to turn on your drone. Now some of our drones come with an on or off switch and some of them you just have to insert the battery into the drone and it will automatically turn on. You know the drone is turned on because the lights on the drone either underneath or on top they will start to flash rapidly. Secondly, you need to turn on your controller. Now when you have successfully turned your controller on, those LED lights will start to flash slower than when you just had the drone turned on. You now need to move your left hand stick, which is the height stick, all the way up to the top until you hear a beep, and all the way till the bottom until you hear another beep. The drone's lights will then go solid. This means that the drone has successfully bound to your controller and you are ready to take flight. If the drone's LEDs don't go solid and they continue to start flashing, this may mean that you have the wrong controller or there is somebody else in the vicinity that's trying to bind to their drone. Please make sure that you are always the only person trying to bind your drone at any one time. Once the drone is bound, we recommend that you place the drone on a flat and level surface and calibrate your drone's internal six axis gyro. Now some of our drones come with a built-in calibrate button on the top of your controller and some drones you have to put the sticks into certain corners to make sure the drone knows to calibrate its gyro. So please check your specific user manual to know how to calibrate your drone. Once the calibration process is complete, the drone will flash all of its LEDs and they will return to a solid state. When they are solid again, this means that you are ready to take flight. If you have completed every step in this video and you are still having problems flying your drone, please turn off both the drone and the controller and repeat all of the steps from the start. If you have done so and you are still having problems, please contact our customer services who will be happy to help you further. I hope this video has helped you get back into the air and happy flying. Thank <laughs> you.